Music is one way that you can make a boring video at least sound more interesting. But finding music that you can legally use in your videos is a pain in the rear. It's one of my least favorite things to do as a video creator. But it's something that I have to deal with on almost a daily or weekly basis, finding music for my videos. So here are some different places to find free and cheap music for your own projects. Remember though, that you can't use other people's music in your videos without getting the rights to it. Even if it's an educational video or a personal video, you're technically not supposed to use that other person's music. YouTube has always had a big problem with this because it's easy and fun for creators to use popular music. For a while, they were taking down videos that used other people's music. Instead, what they do now is they actually give revenue from the ads generated from those videos to the musical artist. So if you use a major laser song in your video and upload it to YouTube, YouTube will automatically be able to tell that you're using major laser song and it will actually put ads on that video and the revenue from that ad won't go to you, it will go to major laser. This doesn't mean it's fine to do it, especially if you're doing it not on YouTube, but somewhere else, if you're selling the videos, if you're publishing it in a commercial or on TV or in the theaters, it's just YouTube's way of dealing with it. Okay, so here are my favorite places to find music. The first one is a free option, YouTube. If you sign up for a YouTube account, if you go to your creator studio, and if you go down to create, there is an audio library with hundreds of songs that you can search through by genre, by mood, instrument, duration. And a lot of these you can use in your videos no matter what, for free, whether it's commercial, whether it's on YouTube or not. Some of them you have to attribute to the author and it will have this little logo right here. And what this means is that when you upload, you just have to attribute it to the author by usually linking or at least writing their name in the description. The YouTube audio library is actually full of mostly high quality songs compared to some other free resources that take days or years to look through and find good music, you can quickly find great free music here. The next place that I like is audiojungle.net. It's part of the Unvato marketplace, which does a lot of stock photos, stock videos, stock graphics, and you can find cheap music here. So you do have to pay for it, but tracks are generally between nine and $20, and they are high quality. They have almost 500,000 tracks, and you can search again by genre, by length, by all kinds of things once you dive into their search or through their browsing feature. This is where I find a lot of music for my commercial projects because I don't wanna use free music that really anybody can use and find on YouTube. That's the only downside about the YouTube library is that it's free for everyone, so now I hear those same songs playing over and over in YouTube videos and across the web. But with Audio Jungle, you don't have that problem as much. Yes, there's thousands of people downloading some of these songs, but a lot of them have never been downloaded or have been downloaded only a handful of times. So you can get more unique audio and music here. In both of these, you can find sound effects too, both in YouTube and Audio Jungle. Those can be helpful for different kinds of projects. There are also a few other websites that I don't recommend as much, but they do have songs. One is the Free Music Archive. These are completely free songs that you can use in your videos. The quality, in my opinion, is not as good and it just takes a little bit longer to sift through the music to find a great song. There are two other paid options. One is Musicbed, which actually has some very high quality songs. I really love it. It's just more expensive. Some of the licenses are over $100 for a song. Premium Beat is in between Musicbed and Audio Jungle in terms of price and also has some great songs and sound effects. I just like using Audio Jungle because it's a little bit more economical. The last option for getting music is to have someone compose it. Here's the website for my buddy Nick who actually composed the music for my Anthony Carbajal documentary. And he's just a friend that I know does music, so he was an easy find. But you can find composers just through a web search or by going to a local music school or a university that has a music program. 
typically there are students who are open to either doing projects for free or at a low cost. So this is where I find my music. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in another one.